Hello, it's Jonathan Kadish from Aquaponics NYC, and here's my February update. As you can see down here, I have fish. Got three uh, fancy goldfish. See the black one there back there is uh, called a black moor. I don't recall what the gold one is, and over here is a little guy gets picked on so he kind of hides so those are my farmers now let's take a look at what's going on in the plants so as you can see there's quite a bit of growth since the last video update in the front here I have some little gem lettuce. Those are kind of unimpressive. They really don't get big enough to make any difference in the salad. So I'm looking to grow larger varieties in the next few months. I also have some arugula seedlings here. Those are just coming up. Some more arugula seedlings. And the big plants back here, my pride and joy, are my bok choy. Hey, that rhymes. So these were planted at the end of December. And the leaves are getting really nice and big. It's going to be edible soon. And as you can see, they just kind of come out of there in the center. This one on the left is in a lot better shape than the other ones. but. The two ones on the right are starting to catch up. Uh, here's another variety of lettuce. I forget the name, but it took it a long time to finally come up and start thriving. And back here are another variety of lettuce that I don't quite recall. I'll have to get out the seed packages. And it's getting affected by some kind of um, fungus. And I believe it's the same fungus that's keeping my basil back here from really growing. Also, this basil is not growing. Now, the basil, this basil back here, I bought it at Whole Foods. And I think it had a fungus in it that's causing it to stunt its growth. So, a little lesson about biosecurity. Don't put plants in your system except for ones from seedlings because if you bring in external plants you're apt to get some kind of plant disease so I may have to sterilize this system and start from scratch but that can only lead to better results I have a couple more basil seedlings coming up here we'll see how those do and so that's it. That's the Aquaponics NYC February update. You see my light source here is 150 watt HPS light source. Make sure to keep the fan on it for good airflow. Yeah, and that's it for the February update for Aquaponics NYC. I'll be gone for a couple weeks and we'll see you back in March. Don't forget to subscribe.